Hello, my name is Marcus and welcome to our special focus on youth sexuality, which is important in order to understand vulnerability and challenges related to young people's health. Youth is the time of life between childhood and adulthood. Around the world, the terms youth, adolescent, teenager and young persons are used interchangeably and sometimes inconsistently. Defining the concept of young people illustrates the diversity surrounding the concept, as in contrast to the concept of children, which has its foundation in the Convention on the Rights of the Child, defining those below the age of 18 years as children. When it comes to the concept of young people, each region and country has its own definition of who is a young person, influenced largely by its social factors. For example, a person at the age of 29 might not be considered as a young person in the Swedish context or elsewhere, where we have a more individualistic approach to personal development. Whereas in another environment, like let's say Zambia, where people's rights and duties are seen more in the context of the larger family, then the same person might be seen as young up to the age when he or she gets married. Here there are social aspects embedded rather than biological. So can we talk about something as complex and diversified as young people? What is the usefulness of it? Well, there are a number of characteristics that young people have in common due to the fact that they are developing biologically and mentally, and that is the puberty. We will soon talk more about this, but undergoing puberty creates certain experiences and developments of sexuality that most young people share. Apart from these similarities, it's also important to have standardized definitions of what we mean by youth because of statistical reasons, so that we are talking and referring to the same age groups. The United Nations has developed the following definitions, on which it also bases its statistics. Adolescents are people aged 10 to 19 years. Youth are those aged 15 to 24 years. Young adults are 20 to 24 years. These are also the most commonly used definitions, although others exist, for example in regional treaties such as the African Union, which defines young persons as up to the age of 35 years. As we reach adolescence, we usually become more aware of our own and other people's sexuality. The early adolescence between 12 and 15 years could perhaps best be described as the period of curiosity and experimentation. Not only our sexuality develops, also our cognition and emotions develop as our brain grows and changes. We, we become more concerned with what other people think about us and norms and social values gain our attention. Our emotions for others mature. It's not uncommon that we have our first romantic and sexual feelings during this period. This period, also called the puberty, is the time when we become sexually mature. The age for this varies with each individual, but it usually occurs in the girl between 10 to 14 years and in boys between 12 and 16 years. At pace with body growth, our genitals develop and girls start menstruating and boys begin producing sperm, which is the basis for fertility. Although sexual behaviors is usually limited to masturbation at this age, both guys and girls may start to experiment with sexual arousal through flirting, hugging and playfully hitting or tickling other youths they are romantically interested in. Adolescence is also when our own identity is developed and established and we often start separating from our family. One might develop career plans, test new styles and interests and start socializing with friends in a new way. During late adolescence, around 16 to 19 years, most youth start exploring and experimenting sexually with other persons and often have their sexual debut through intercourse. Some adolescents form stronger relationships while others continue to experiment. This is, as we will discuss later on, dependent on prevailing laws, norms and values. In some cultures, youth experiment sexually within a marriage, whereas others have several sexual partners before forming a stable relationship. During adolescence, many youth start reflecting over their sexual orientation and what turns them on sexually. Adolescence is a time of searching and many young people find themselves thinking about sexuality in terms of the other sex. We fantasize, flirt, fall in love and are attracted to other people and eventually we establish sexual relations. We experiment, try different things and may take risks. 
While decisions are made with more or less solid foundations in knowledge and reality, they may influence life and health. During this time of growth, it is very important to have someone to talk confidentially to and get sound advice from, getting access to correct information on sexuality, contraception, and sexually transmitted infections, STIs for short, is a necessity and a human right. If contraception or STI protection is needed, providing this information is of course essential. Heterosexuality is the majority norm in almost all societies and is most commonly experienced when developing sexuality. To be able to counsel young boys and girls as needed, it is essential to have the right understanding and knowledge of their needs and the context they live in. In addition, many youth all over the world experience romantic or sexual attraction towards people of the same sex. We often refer to this as homo and bisexuality. There are no scientific numbers of the global prevalence of homo and bisexual persons. But research studies from all corners of the world have shown that many people engage in same-sex relations. Since heterosexuality is the majority norm, homosexual persons often have big difficulties in getting good advice or finding positive role models in their society. This is psychologically very difficult for many young people who prefer same-sex relationships. Others start reflecting about their own sex in relation to their assigned gender identity, and a few might feel that they are born in the wrong sex. These are usually referred to as transgender persons. Lesbians, gays, bisexuals, and transgender persons, or LGBT, face discrimination and stigmatization throughout the world. More than 70 countries criminalize same-sex activity and transgender expressions, of which a handful punishes it with death. Social marginalization is widespread and young people from both the global north and the global south risk excommunication from family and friends when the sexuality or gender expression is discovered, and some even fall victims for so-called hate crimes. This creates a high vulnerability to sexual and reproductive ill health in terms of risky sexual behaviors, delayed treatment, and wrong medications. At the same time, several countries have, during the last decade, strengthened their legal protection to provide better support to LGBT citizens. While most young people need good information and often personal guidance on sexual and reproductive health matters, the need for compassionate personal counseling and support is often higher among LGBT individuals due to societal values and norms which may be in contradiction to their feelings and their perceived identity. While terms like homosexual and bisexual can be useful to use, it is important to remember that not everyone who has sex with someone from the same sex will identify themselves as homo or bisexual. In research, we therefore talk about men who have sex with men and women who have sex with women in order to not pre-assign relations between sexual behaviors and self-identification.